All right, I have a quick question for you. What is the number one thing that you as a marketer can do in 2023? What's the number one thing that you can do as a marketer in 2023? If you wanna hit more of your business, your marketing, your uh, sales and revenue goals, what's the number one thing that you can do? Think about it for a second, you can write it down, you can, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can leave it in the comments, but just, just uh, weigh that question for just a second here and let's dive into my notes. So the number one most important thing that you can do as a marketer in 2023, the number one most valuable marketing strategy is lead generation. That is bringing new people in the door, bringing a fresh audience, fresh buyers into the door. Because inevitably, um, in any market, in any audience, in any prospect list, in any customer list, you're going to have people who either basically reach the limit of their spending with you, they've upgraded to every high level offer that you are going to do, or they're just moving on, right? And yeah, you can continue to generate and you should continue to generate revenue from the relationships that you have with your current audience, with your current list, with your current market. And at the same time, always focusing on bringing fresh people in the door is one of the most powerful things that you can do to feed your overall success in marketing and sales. Um, so here's why lead generation should be your priority in 2023, because it should always be your priority. Uh, the uh, When you build your audience, you build your business, and it's pretty consistent. Like every customer is going to be worth a certain amount for your business. Every lead is going to be worth a certain amount for your business. And there's a lot of different metrics that you can look at. One thing that, that um, is often cited is every customer should be worth at least, well, on average, the average or the average prospect, the average person on your email list should be worth at least a dollar per month. And um, you know, in many markets that can be much higher, on many lists that can be much higher. But uh, you know, if we just use that figure, if you have a list of 10,000, that's going to be generating way more revenue than a list of 1,000. If you have a list of 100,000, that's going to be generating way more revenue. Now, bigger lists, that number tends to be smaller, what you're able to generate. But across the board, if you build a bigger audience, you're going to have more revenue. And, um, and it's important to continue to generate leads because that's about building new relationships with new audience members, new people who are discovering you and whatever value you provide for the first time. Now, there's a lot, of course, that you can do once you have the leads. As you generate the leads, you should be consistently communicating with your audience and all that jazz. Um, but what I will say is if you don't have the audience, you're not building those relationships. So 2023, what can you do to generate leads today? I'm gonna go back to the principles because when you get the principles right, you're gonna be able to apply it across the board. So, you know, whether you are chasing, you know, opportunities on TikTok or you're just going with the tried and true Google search ads or whatever it is, right? Or you're using direct mail or Whatever medium, whatever approach you're using, whether you're using organic free content or paid media, like all of that, all of that, it's going to be based on these fundamental principles. Number one, you have to decide who your best leads are. You have to know this. You have to make a decision. Who are you going after? That's your market. That's your, that's your potential audience, right? But you need to decide who these people are because that's everything else is going to be based on serving those people, their wants, their desires, their needs, solving their problems, right? So you have to decide who your best leads are. Then number two, you have to figure out what they want and give it to them. Figure out what they want and give it to them. And this is your offer. So if somebody's searching for something like how to become a copywriter, if I give them an answer to that question, and by the way, questions make great opportunities for lead generation, um, for, for offers for lead generation. So somebody is typing a question into a search engine or on Google, you're able to more broadly target people who have typed a question into a search engine who or who show other behavior similar to those who have typed that question into the search engine. So for example, you want to target on Google Display Network or YouTube ads, you can target people based on, oh, they're the type of 
person who has either or is like people who have typed this question into the search engine. Um, so if somebody says how to become a copywriter and they type that into Google, well, um, having an offer that says, here's how to become a copywriter. Here's the best ways to become a copywriter in 2023 and beyond, right? Um, you just create an offer that solves that problem, that answers that question. And for lead generation, it can be pretty simple, uh, but the success of it is going to be based on how well it aligns with their needs, wants, desires, or a problem they wish to have solved. Now, you have to figure out how you'll convert them into leads. This is your funnel. This is, however you structure your funnel, I mean, somebody could get into your funnel Somebody could get into your funnel through a conversation and through manually entering them. Like it doesn't have to be click funnels. It doesn't have to be a very specific funnel software, or it doesn't even have to look like what we think of as an online marketing funnel. Sales funnels have been around a lot longer than online funnels, right? Uh, the, the idea is an intentional entry point where you make the offer right? If you want this thing, if you want this problem solved, here's how you solve the problem. If you enter your email address or enter your contact information, however your leads are defined, um, then, then we'll give this to you, right? And then what happens next? Oh, well, you should probably fulfill on what you just promised them. But then what happens after that? Are they immediately shown an additional marketing message on that same page? Are they linked through to the next marketing message? Are they encouraged to schedule a call with your sales team? I don't know what your lead generation is going to look like, right? But what I do know is that you should be intentional about that process and that's what we call a funnel. And then we've already decided who our best leads are, right? We know who our market is. We figured out what they want and we're, we created something to give that to them, our offer. We built a funnel that will that is how we will convert them into leads. And then we put a message in front of them with why they should sign up. That is your ads, right? And this is going to direct people into your funnel, et cetera. So uh, here's, why you should, here, here's why you should be interested in what I have to say. Oh, if you're interested in becoming a copywriter, go here to get this free resource on becoming a copywriter, right? And so that's an ad that links someone into the funnel where they are presented with your offer, where they can sign up, assuming that they are a good fit for it, that they're in your market, and then you have a lead. And it is as simple as that. You can take that and you can apply it across mediums, across markets, across across the board, right? And it is an incredibly important aspect of growing your business. So my call to action for you today is think about how you can use this. How can you use this to grow your business? How can you use this to grow your client business? How can you apply these principles and start generating more leads today? Not can you, but how can you? Think about that, put your creativity to work, and figure out how to apply this in your particular marketing scenarios, your particular business. Also, don't forget to like this video if you want more content like this delivered to you and subscribe, of course, so that you'll get the content delivered. Uh, you can also subscribe at BreakthroughMarketingSecrets.com where I send out episode updates by email and more exclusive content for email subscribers. And hey, if you wanna go deep into lead generation, I did record a training called Lead Generation Offers, Ads, and Funnels towards the end of last year, and it does go deep into these principles of effective lead generation, and it, it, it's like the how-to for this entire episode and it's part of my BTMS Insiders training library where you pay one low monthly fee like Netflix and get unlimited streaming access to my entire catalog of copywriting and marketing training. So I encourage you to check that out. That is the first link in the description. I'm Roy Fur. this is Breakthrough Marketing Secrets, and I will see you again in tomorrow's episode. Thank you once again for tuning in to this daily episode of Breakthrough Marketing Secrets. Remember, check out the links with this episode for even more value. Now make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, and engage in every way you can to keep this show going and growing and delivering daily value to you. I'll catch you soon for your next big breakthrough.